Dear YouTube, Google, or whoever you people are that control the platform, there's probably some even bigger guys somewhere sitting in an Oval Office somewhere. Uh, since you don't like my video from the other day, I've been thinking, man, why don't you go ahead and remove all of my videos, thousand plus videos, thousand plus days of this squad everyday journey. Just go ahead and hit that big fat red button on your keyboard. And get rid of it all. Just remove me. Completely mute me, silent me. Just get rid of me. There's no point. There's no point uh, having me around. If you don't like the type of content that I make, if you don't like my opinions, if you don't like any of this stuff, just delete. Um, I don't know whether it's a robot that you guys employed. Uh, I don't know if it's some person in some basement office somewhere who had a problem. But I appealed your decision. And within 30 minutes, seems like a human got back to me. Writing, no, no. Your shit. We don't like the way you made that video. And we stand by our decision. So thank you for that. And uh, I'm here to tell you that you can get stuffed. You can call that a power play or whatever you want to make it. Um, I'm not scared of you. Go ahead, cancel me. I am more than happy to go back to my hospital, continue to work there until I'm 99. I'm happy because I know that the character of a man I am, I'm going to stand my ground. I'm not going to conform to your shit. Okay, I have seen a lot more, a lot more sexually explicit content on your beloved platform. I've seen porn stars talking about sex with 20 men being interviewed on your beloved platform. I've seen girls in bikinis twerking. I've seen women breastfeeding. I don't see anything wrong with that. But my content, a fellow in a shitty backyard topless, doing his beloved squats, that's a problem when he's talking about social media, Google, YouTube, TikTok, talking about all of these platforms of this new age we live in, and how they've sexualized everything, and how I think that is contributing to the mental health degeneration, decline of this new generation. I work as a nurse, I've been working as a nurse 13 whole years, and a lot of the time I've spent there a triage. People coming in. I've nursed lots of, lots of mental health. 18-year-old fellas, 18-year-old girls coming in saying they want to neck themselves. While flicking through their social media feed. Where people are touching up all of their photos. All of their videos. Photoshopping everything. To make it seem like everyone is a supermodel. With no cellulite. Perfect hourglass shapes. Everyone is oozing muscle mass. At the age of 16, they're lifting 300 kilos. All of these wonderful things, pumped full of drugs. There's channels out there talking about drugs, full stop. Full on, talking about illegal drug use. But my, my video from the other day is a problem. So my response to you is, fuck you. Go ahead and remove this video as well. And like I said before, remove all of the bloody videos. Please, if you're going to try and silence me, if you're going to try and make a little good worker for Google out of me, you can go to the next man because you're not going to find it here. Like I said, I'm more than happy to go back to my hospital and nurse away until I drop dead on the floor. I'm happy to do that and not earn a single dime, not rely on anything that you have to contribute to me. It's fine. If I have to conform to society, I will. I will do exactly what my hospital and my healthcare system wants me to do, but I ain't doing anything that you're doing. There's no surrender in me. No surrender. There's no turning my back and running for the border. Nah, man, you're going to have to mow me down. I've always had that opinion about me, even if we go to war, there's no surrender. If 7 billion people don't surrender... These thousand plus people that are in this country doing politics around an oval table, 
making some shitty ass rules, can't do anything to us. There's 7 billion of us on the planet and there is this minority, they control everything. Oh, we'll silence you. Really? You're going to silence me? No worries, man. No worries. But the trouble is, majority of people in this world are too freaking lazy, too tired from their daily work to give a shit what's happening about over the fence in their community, in their state, in their country. They're too lazy, too tired. It's a perfect system, you see. All the cogs are so worn down, and you are a cog. All the cogs are so worn down that when they get home, they just want to drink a six-pack, forget about the day, sleep, wake up, do it again. It's a very, very well-made system. Nobody's got energy to like voice up at all. So that's where you have all these minority groups changing the course of history because they're all up and about. They have a, a bunch of money next to them and they make change. They make change where they want to see. They exploit these people. If I don't have a voice, that's fine. I'll just go back to the hospital and I'll do my thing. This platform, I don't know why, why I even have it, but I happen to have it. And I've been very comfortable making the videos that I, that I make. I saw a opportunity to do more than just squat every day and comment on which muscle I think is responsible for what, what I'm doing here. I saw more and more people reach out to me on Instagram, on Patreon, uh, on Messenger. People are reaching out to me with like real world problems and they find comfort in me and my philosophy and my opinions. They're asking me stuff that's got nothing to do with squatting. They're asking me about life. Ivan, what do you think about this situation? You're 33, you've been some stuff, you've got a, a nursing background, what do you think? More and more of these issues keep coming at me. I am not somebody in a position that can solve world's problems, but I can give you my opinion, my experience, my thoughts based on my life. And what I've been hearing, both at work and also through this platform, is that there's a lot of guys out there that are just flat out sad, anxious, and I think a lot of this stuff is coming from the very people that are employing me at Google, Instagram, TikTok. All of these people that I work for, I upload video content to, these people are making the people that are messaging me sad. But I'm the problem that needs to be silenced. Not the people that are funneling shit down the hill. Straight into the mouths and ears and, and, and eyes of these of young fellas who are trying to work out what the hell is going on in this world. Which way do I turn, left or right? Do I take Trent or Decker or do I go neck myself? That's the trouble. But I, they want to have a problem with me speaking out about this. Oh, sex is a really, really bad word. You can't be possibly talking about that. Really now. But talking about 50 milligrams of Trent, five liters of Decker a week, that's perfectly fine. Spending $15,000 a month on growth hormone, that is fine. That is not cancelable stuff. That is perfectly within our vision of society. While these young men finish high school, go to university, think, what do I need to do to attract the female? The females are looking, okay, this is what, I need, I need a guy on trend. There's no other way. Like I need a guy that's powerful sitting there with a freaking lats the size of a fridge. That's what we need in a man in the 21st century. That's exactly what's going on. So when I call this shit out and say, what the hell is going on, man? 100, 200 years ago, we used to look up into the skies, look for God. Like I said in previous videos, look for Jesus, Muhammad, Allah, Buddha, any, any of these figures. We used to look deep down into our souls for answers. Now we're looking at a bottle of Trent thinking, yeah, this is what's up. This is going to give me all the happiness in my life. We've turned to flesh and away from the soul. And I see a problem in that because more and more people are heading into ED saying, I have suicidal thoughts. I'm abusing this substance because I want to escape the reality. So I go ahead and I voice my opinion to that 18-year-old that's sitting in his room somewhere in the world, listening to Ivan give his two cents about what is wrong with the world and to go away from the, from the norm that we're headed. Ah, I'm the problem. So here's this, YouTube, Google, whoever you are, TikTok, Instagram. Press that red button, delete me, get, 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 get the fuck out of my way, okay? Or let me get out of your way. You go about your life, I'm going to go about my life. I'm going to try to sp spread the message to my kids to my best friend's kids, to the circles around me. I'm going to try and make an impact that way. If you want to silence me completely, that's fine. But I'm not going to be another little cog in your system that spreads bullshit. Because if you find my content offensive, we have nothing to talk about. Now, this could be a complete systemic breakdown on your part. 
some robot flagged you down. But I appealed, bro. I appealed. And some bloke with a keyboard in your company returned the email saying, nah, bro. You know, I had a look through it, mate. It's, it's not good enough, man. You know, enough trend. You need to pop some trend, man. Get in a bikini. Get, get, some, get some chicks around with fake tits. 10 liters of Botox in the face. Ah, that's the image we want to sell to the 20-year-old fella out there watching your videos. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate everything you do for the society. Might as well just flush the whole world down the toilet. I don't know what we're trying to do here. Are we trying to make more patients for these pharmaceutical companies to sell drugs to? Everyone is fucking depressed. Let's put everybody on Sertaline. Let's put everyone on diazepam or lorazepam. Let's drug everybody. That's beautiful business. You have 7 billion customers. Everyone is freaking sad. Just go ahead and delete me, man. Just go ahead and delete me. This video is probably not going to make it. Whatever. Screw you. Appreciate you guys. I'll, I'll catch you maybe in the next one. Who knows? Peace out.